We don't know where, yeah. what's going to happen next. We talk about Modern Warfare 2 on the PC and how it's not going to have dedicated servers, and people are getting all upset about I'm just that. going to set this table on fire. <laughs> Jeff, what do you think about that? Setting this table on fire. Does that really matter? Uh, it, it, to a subset of people, absolutely it does. To to a subset of the audience for that game, it, it is, it's a very huge deal. Uh, so, so basically, uh, what they're doing... I was going to say, what's that mean? They are building Battle.net. Okay, they're calling it IWNet. Yeah, they are They are building a matchmaking service... Or EWNet. Ew. Ew. Uh, they are building a matchmaking service for the PC version of Modern Warfare 2 that uh, will give them control over profiles and stuff like that, so you'll be able to prestige, like all that stuff will work now because they're building a closed system for it. Uh, as part of that, it'll be matchmaking, not you you getting a server browser and connecting to servers. And there will still be private games, so you'll be able to get into games with friends and play. I guess the the big question mark still, and it, it sounds like they have not answered this yet, and a lot of people are jumping to some, some, some conclusions that may or may not be correct, but it sounds like that the the parts where people are getting pissed off are that this would shut out support for mods and like custom maps. Which you know they, they there was a mod scene for for Call of Duty Four on the PC. What would you mod about it? Oh, people making maps yeah. or people making like competitive versions of the you know it's like altering weapon damage and, and doing some, like some people came up with weird other kill streak rewards. Like people came up with some really weird stuff. Um, you know it's like what would you mod about any game? Really, so this is basically you know? stuff to run on your dedicated server, which no right. longer exists. Yeah. So with dedicated servers not existing, then at that point, can you mod the game? Like, probably not. Maybe there's a way that they would allow people to upload something, but that seems like it'd be pretty dodgy. You know, maybe they could they could create some kind of vetting process to officially endorse mods and run them optionally in private games. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, if you can't run your own server, then how do you test that stuff? It's, it's a, lot of, a lot of different ins and outs. Right, and if you're not... If you, have, if you can't affect the playlist because it's all auto-match making... Well, the, the, with private games, you can set up whatever you want. Right, right. Okay. So you can still do a private game. You just don't. You are not running the server, which is a good thing, actually, in a lot of ways. Because, like, r- realistically, who run a server for a game? Like, when was the last time? I've you, never done. I've like only for like when you had to type in like somebody's IP address to join a game. Yeah, you can consider like, that a server. People, people still like do people. It? People still do, and there's go on there the right forums. You will see plenty of there people. There are doing certainly that. people like running clans, but at this point, when you look at them as a percentage of all the people that play games, they're not a huge percentage. And when you factor in that closing the system like this gives them a like a much more firm grasp grasp of piracy issues. Uh, Not just piracy, but hacked profiles, people right. leveling people themselves level, up. Yeah, yeah. You know, when it that kind of and, thing. and let's not forget, this is exactly how you pave the way to sell people maps. That's yeah, is by closing the system yeah. so that people can't download the maps and run them themselves. I was, I was just waiting for you to get to that. Yeah. Yeah. like I don't, I don't see how this is anything but that. Yeah. Really. So you know, this is this is a lot like Blizzard not having land support in StarCraft. Is them? It's them taking back control and saying we don't like it that every yeah. internet cafe in Korea is running bootleg versions of StarCraft. So. We're going to take care of it, and there's going to be a minority of players that are going to be affected really negatively. And in this case, it's like a you know, in Modern Warfare 2's case, it's like a it's a vocal group of people that you know feel that the the competitive scene for the game now can no longer exist. I don't really understand how this affects that because there's still a competitive scene for a lot of console shooters, and none of those, very few of those, let you run dedicated servers. It's not a big. Well, competitive section eight. You know, let, scene. The, let the market speak. You know, like if it doesn't work and they feel it, then yeah, they won't I, do I, it, I imagine that on on some level, like they looked at spreadsheets and and figured out how many people this would affect, and then looked at how much money they would probably lose by putting this version out that would be easily bootlegged and played online. Uh, you know, in lieu of people going out and buying the console version of the game or something like that, I said, well, we can either develop this solution to fix these several issues that the game has from a security standpoint, or we can just not put it out on the PC. Like that, to me, seems like the decision that had to that had to be made. And then, doesn't this also coincide with word about them reneging on that uh, delay for the PC version? It, there is no delay for the PC version. They claim they claim it'll be out the tenth, just like everything else. Well, right on. This seems to make more sense than the StarCraft stuff because of um, 
the persistence that's in the multiplayer. You know, the kind of like leveling up and, and yeah, item like, stuff. The, like, that's that's like pretty key stuff to the experience of playing that game. And like leaving that open for people to, you know, muck around with seems like a really bad idea. Seems like it would ruin the experience more than anything else. Yeah, and it's, yeah, like Modern Warfare was pretty much busted by all accounts on the multiplayer because it was so easy to hack into that stuff and everyone could just yeah, it was just like you were, you were basically just like yeah. flipping a switch and like all right now I'm level fifty five yeah. and I got all the guns and. And and yeah, so you know they they get control game, back of that right. stuff, and you know yeah, there's there's certainly going to be some people that are inconvenienced, and like rightly they are voicing their opinion on the matter. But at the same time, if you remove the emotion from it and look at it as like a very cold business decision, like this makes total sense. I mean, that's just Bobby Kotick laying yeah, down like, the law hey, again. By the way, <laughs> Activision's putting this game. I, out. I was I, yeah, <laughs> that was the other thing I was waiting for you to say. Yeah, yeah it's like, did you really expect <laughs> them? Which two companies? Have we mentioned today or in this in this conversation, and what corporate parent do they both have? Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I you know this this is a sign. Of, I th- I feel like in a lot of ways this is a sign of things to come for the PC. Uh, that you're going to see more and more of stuff like this of the old guard of of how PC games were done with you know lists of pings on servers and. I'm going to join this dude's server because yo the join message is porn. You know like. <laughs> Do you think uh, that stuff has to go away for the people making PC games to close up a lot of the piracy gaps and and get control back of of their games and continue making PC and continue games. making PC games? Right, because consoles are now calling the shots. Yeah. Of course, yeah. they are the standard bearers for how games work at this point. Right. So if you want to keep making PC games, that's those are kind of standards you got to fall in line with. It's like, yeah, a lot of that stuff is what has made PC gaming in the past great, but now it has become a it's huge also, liability. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 a liability for these companies to to keep doing it and, you know, everyone's going to address it in their own way whether it's with like weird DRM or something like Command and Conquer 4 where even if you're playing the single player, you need to be connected online. You know, everyone they just or they just won't or they just won't make it. You know, like like that's yeah, it's a problem that everyone finally realized if they don't solve it then they can't afford to to do it. 